world, could you be the one? Hello darlings, good day and welcome back to my channel. Yes, I know it's been a while guys, you cannot imagine. It's been like ages since I did a sit down video like pick up my professional camera, sit in front of the lens and make a video like this except for my phone sometimes and i can't remember the last time i did a sit down video that has been with my phone camera and they were mostly vlogs or uh, random stuff not a sit down video it's been long i did a sit down video and i missed that a whole lot so guys before we go into today's discussion i would like to see Thank you to all my old and new subscribers. If you're new and just passing by for the first time, please do not leave without clicking on the subscribe button down below and click on the notification bell. It will notify you of any time I upload a new video. And I want to also say thank you to all my old subscribers that have been patient enough with me and have been here waiting till whenever I upload. And to those new ones who are just coming, I am so sorry that I am slacking a bit. Though I cannot promise you that from now on I would put in more effort because I have promised that like so many times and it still remains the same. Like I am lagging behind so much with my videos guys. Life has been too busy. Yes, I'm sure many of you will understand this. Life has been very very busy. It's not easy. So guys, I will just try my best. All I can say is that I will just try my best to put out video once in a while but I will try. To be more consistent as I used to be. So guys, before we move on with this video, I am sure you guys will be wondering, ah, Annie did a full makeup today. Yes, well, this is a result of my makeup school. So for those of you who don't know, I am attending a makeup school and I have been learning stuff and this is part of the things I have been learning, I hope I did well. I am not an expert yet. Makeup is not easy like it looks at all. So I am just trying my hands. Today is weekend, it's Saturday. Thankfully, the kids are having their afternoon nap thanks to my hobby who took them to his room. And now I am free to make this makeup and also make this video for you guys. So what do you think about my makeup? I know it's not perfect, but it's not bad right so guys i think i'm talking too much let's dive right into this video so guys from the topic it is my experience in nigeria Zine. for those who don't know i recently traveled to my home country nigeria lagos to be precise and guys do you know what i haven't been home for the past six and a half years so going back home was like I can't really describe the feeling. I was really so excited when I finally decided that I want to go home. I want to visit Nigeria. I want to visit my family. So it all started like in mid-July. They were bad. I just woke up one morning. I said, I need to go to Nigeria. Because I remembered late 2019, Hobby told me that, oh, you'll be saying you want to go home. You want to go home. Why don't we go 2020 maybe early 2020 ah it was a welcome idea and i was really excited so we were making plans to travel to nigeria in 2020 then covid happened you guys know the rest lockdown and the rest so that plan went down the drain so like i was saying we couldn't travel in 2020 due to you know what's corona so i felt really sad and i was wondering when is this world going to settle fully again for me to be able to visit my people, visit my country? I have missed Nigeria so much. Guys, I don't know, there's no place like home, no matter where you go to. I don't know, some people travel out of Nigeria and they say, I'm not going back there anymore, thank God I'm out of that country. For me, it was a different case. Like, I was missing home so much, maybe because almost all my family they live in Nigeria, Lagos to be precise. So when I see pictures or see videos or when they do video calls and I see the whole family together, everybody's just laughing and happy. I feel so lonely. I am homesick and all that and I only want to go back home at all costs. So like I was saying, when our trip for 2020 was cancelled due to Corona, I really felt sad and I said, oh, when next can I travel to Nigeria? Like... 
when will this world be settled again so that there will be free movement and I can travel well I was just hoping and hoping then mid July since the world was beginning to settle back bit by bit it was summer people were traveling for summer holiday and as usual I'm supposed to travel with my family my family here in Europe my husband and my kids to our family house or a vacation resort for maybe two weeks vacation as we do every summer so and I said to myself why don't I just use this opportunity to travel to Nigeria again there was another stumbling block like the ticket was so high and if I'm going to travel there's no way because I'll be traveling alone there's no way I can take my two kids that would be so difficult for me first I'm going to pay ticket for both of them because they are both two years old and secondly handling two kids at the airport you know it's not easy two boys I said no this is not going to be possible but okay there's another solution I said to my husband maybe I should take the little one he's two and a half years old he still needs me more than the older one the other one is five going to six almost six then so I'm is used to staying with his father and if they're going to go to the family house for the vacation he loves his grandmother a lot his grandmother loves him so much they've been together by themselves before so maybe i should take the little one even though i'm still going to pay tickets and well it was a bit of back and forth but we later agreed that yes i should take the little guy so passport everything done vaccination and all so early august august 9 no august 10th to be precise i left greece for lagos nigeria so my experience at the airport this is it so at the athens airport athens international airport i didn't have much stress i just checked in my bags because yes guys i would like i took a lot of stuff i took a lot of luggage like me and my kid we were granted three luggages each 23 kilo each luggage and each person three i don't know if you guys get it so i was having like 69 kg my son 69 kg so there was a lot of room for me to take stuff so i kind of literally emptied my wardrobe i took a lot of stuff yes i took a lot of stuff from my hand a lot of things imagine with a little kid and you know it was a bit hectic thank god my hobby accompanied me to the airport and he helped me check in my bag and all that so aside that struggle everything was actually fine in Athens International Airport I didn't have much trouble at all apart from <laughs> uh, a particular incident that happened yeah I wanted to get snack for my son after we've checked him waiting to board so I took his stroller I was strolling him so went to the county I paid for the stuff I bought for my son unknown to me during the process of pain when I was bringing stuff for my handbag I dropped my phone at the county there on the counter and when I was leaving I forgot it I didn't pick it I left so I was just doing some the window shopping should I call it at the duty free session in the airport before we bought strolling my brand or that guys it was almost 15 20 minutes later i saw someone running after me i've gone far a young pretty girl maybe 21 22 there about a white girl she was running after me excuse me ma'am excuse me i've been looking for you all over the place thank god she could speak english i don't know if she was quick anyway and i was wondering hope no problem you forgot your phone and she showed me my phone and looked at myself so for the past 15 20 minutes i didn't know my phone was missing god i didn't know what to do and yes she was holding my phone she had her own phone with her an iphone too my own iphone was 11 and i think hers was iphone 8 or there about she could have easily just taken my phone kept it and don't care do you understand this lady looked for me all over she told me i've been looking for you all over and i noticed you because of your baby because because then my baby had this afro curly hair and I was searching for you all over the place. Jesus Christ, I was shocked and I was happy at the same time. And then asked the lady, can I hug you please? And she said, why not? So I was I got my phone back and I was really happy. Then I got a long story of this airport scenario shot. We boarded, we took our flight from Athens to Istanbul because 
it wasn't a direct flight we have to do a transit transfer from Istanbul so we took our flight from Istanbul to Turkey we took our flight from Athens to Istanbul and during the flight thank God my son behaved the only problem he had maybe because it was his first time of getting on a plane he threw up and that was because when he brought food he ate a mozzarella cheese he was rushing it in his mouth and actually he doesn't like mozzarella cheese so he threw up all over his body thank God we were almost at Istanbul when this happened so we got to Istanbul and I was told I'll be very stressed at Istanbul because the airport is so big I'm going to walk long way before we bought our flight so I changed him at the bathroom took uh, for that is I already kept his stroller aside in the plane the stroller has gone to Lagos Nigeria so I had to take my wrapper traditional wrapper put him on my back so we bought it we didn't waste time there we just wasted, um, we just waited maybe one hour, we bought it and we headed for Lagos, Nigeria. So now this is where the excitement begins. Hold on. So we landed Lagos, Nigeria about, should I, should I say 6.50 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, my son slept like 3 a.m. on the plane, so he slept all through. The flights even when we landed it was still sleeping so i had to take him put him on my back and we got and we got to nigeria airport you know how it is if you're nigerian you know the stress i did experience in athens international i experienced all of them in lagos international airport oh my god even though some of some of them were claiming that ah you can go because of your baby but still i don't want to just state everything i'm sure most nigerians on this video watching this video understand what i mean the from different people you know what i mean they were just trying to you know where well, aside that that's also they checked my covid test and all my travel permits because there's this thing they call the plt the passenger travel permit yeah i think that's what's called they checked it everything was okay and we asked to go and my brother-in-law dio and my nephew gt were already waiting for us to pick us home so we got in the car and we headed home to my sister's house because yes all through my stay i stayed at my younger sister's house so it was the husband that came to pick me the husband and the son so we went home and we got home my sister was at work she wasn't home but because of us that day she left work early that day and came home but when we got home i met with my nephew and my niece Ah, the last time I saw my niece she was maybe three four months old <laughs> and now she's seven and my nephew haven't seen him before he's five years old oh my god these children they haven't seen me before they've only seen me as in okay my niece has seen me but when she was three months they've only seen me on video calls for talk and they were so excited to see us <laughs> the, the hospitality was out of this world they hugged us and she and she and she and she they were expecting us my sister's help auntie julie she's called auntie julie was already expecting me because she's this very nice woman who has stayed with my sister all through the birth of her kids and she knows me very well i know her very well with parties they were all excited to see me the love was real i was so excited yeah and i was telling myself so i'm in lagos nigeria i'm with my family <laughs> after this whole time like six and a half years i was really excited and everybody welcomed me then one hour later my other sister my other sister not my other sister we just graduated doris came home and everybody was really excited to see me and i was happy there was this peace that i felt i was as in, i was so happy to be home guys you cannot imagine that feeling so that's how it happened my sister came at about four which she usually come home 7 8 in the night he came home about four there was a lot of merriment in the house everybody was happy and all and i was so happy then meanwhile all this is going on my father didn't know i was coming only my mom so that evening my mom also came to say hello to us to see her grandchild my son my little boy was just getting used to the environment he wasn't talking about he was clingy and wasn't saying nothing to nobody so all this why my father didn't know i was in lagos where before i came i told my father that i might be coming to lagos nigeria in august but i don't know the precise date i know but i didn't want to tell him i was planning a surprise for him so the next day i told my 
elder sister Doris to call my father to find out when he will be closing for work. That she shouldn't tell him the reason why she's asking. That she just she should tell him that she just wants to come and visit him and there's something she wants to show him and all that. My father told her that okay by 5 p.m. I will be home from work, hope no problem. And my sister said no. Unknown to him, I was around, we we're going to surprise him. He hasn't seen his grandson before, my son. So the next day in the evening, been Wednesday, my sister didn't go to work. She had to take excuse because of me. They did a lot of things for me just because of me. As in my sister that lost working so much, she had to take leave from work. Though she wasn't feeling too well too, part of it anyway. And the next day she took me, her kids, my younger ones, we went to my father's house. And I'm sure many of you, some of you have seen the video here. The surprise video of her. I surprised my father. And I went to my father's house. And my father was shocked to see me. What? Ah, so this is why Doris was asking me all that. When I got to my father's house, I was a bit sad. Where well, I was happy to see him, but sad that my father's house was in a very bad state. Because for a while now, for over two years, the flood that has been happening in Lagos has been disturbing my father's house a lot. His house gets flooded. We've tried, especially my sister, to find a way to feed the, the house, to work on it as in paid people to work on it, but still it's not getting better. So this was an opportunity for me to go and see better myself. So and I went to my father's house and the state of my father's house made me really sad. I wasn't really happy at all. I know how hard my father worked to build the house there and all that. And the state of his house, I was really sad. But thank God I have been there, I have seen it, so we are working on it now. So as we speak, stuff I put in place to make it better. My sister is really trying, yeah. She's calling people to come fix stuff and all that. Hopefully it gets better. Hopefully one day when I become a millionaire, I'll get my father another house. So. Well, that is that about my father. So that was how I surprised my father. And also I went to my old neighborhood where I used to stay before I came to Europe, which I filmed and I showed you guys. So I'm going to leave the link of these videos in the description box below the surprise and my visit to my neighborhood. You will all see it there. So that was how, what happened. So from the title, I said I'm going to tell you the good, the bad and the ugly of my trip to Lagos, Nigeria. So I think this is a part of the good ones. The bad one among is the state of my father's house, which I didn't like. And the other good ones was, oh my God, my sister and her husband, they took me out a lot. I met all my friends, majority of my friends, not all actually. They came to visit me. There was excitement in the hair. My sister and her husband took me out a lot. I went to the beaches. Nice, nice beach in Lagos. Now, they, my God, Lagos is a fun place, guys. Ah, reason why I really miss Lagos so much. So much things to do. So many things to do in Lagos. So my sister and her husband, they took me out. They gave me a nice time. At the house, I don't do nothing. My little boy, okay, three days after we landed in Nigeria, my little boy fell sick. I was really scared. Hope it's not malaria because that was what we were all scared of at first. But it was just a change of environment. So that three days, uh, it really didn't allow me to do anything. It was clingy and I was always around, so I couldn't visit or go out much. So after the third day, thankfully it got better. My brother-in-law was so helpful. My brother-in-law helped me take care of him so much. My brother-in-law is so helpful. Such a nice man. Yeah. So that was how we stayed. And I was taken to different places. I'm sure many of you have seen some of the videos. And if you're following me on Instagram, I'm sure you must have seen a lot of pictures. We went out. It was a lot of good times, guys. It was no bad times. The only bad things is okay. The only bad part, okay. I said the good, the bad, and the ugly. No ugly one, really. The bad part was uh, there's still traffic in Lagos. That bad traffic is still in Lagos. Like you will leave your house and you want to go to somewhere that's supposed to take you at least 15 20 minutes, you end up spending like one hour, sometimes two hours. It's ridiculous, yes. So that's still the bad part of. Lagos and what else? There's nothing really much. All I did in Lagos, Nigeria was just have fun and have fun. I slept, it's too much. I added four kilos back when I come back. Four extra kilos because my sister and her family were feeding me so much. Then my kid, Pavlos, 
after the heinous and everything when he got better he was having a lot of fun in nigeria had a lot of fun with his causes it was everywhere my younger ones were always with him his best friends was the like boy and dami and kevin and gt as in he was having so much fun in nigeria like when it got time for us to come back <laughs> I didn't want to come back because the fun was too much. I felt so bad. I was really angry. I didn't want to come back. But what can I do? My other son is waiting for me over here. Though we're talking on video call every day. He was having his best time at uh, the beach house. Our vacation house in the village with his grandparents and my husband, his father. They were always going to the beach. So he was actually happy for He didn't even miss me much. But... I needed to come back because schools were going to resume and all. But, guys, I had a lot of fun in Nigeria. So, there wasn't really any bad moments. I visited my ex colleagues at my former place of work, went to disco dance, I visited my cousins, blessing, Becky, patience. Oh, my. I had a fun time and I made a resolution that no, there's no way I'm going to stay so long again before visiting home. Latest, highest, I'm going to stay just two years and I'll go, if possible, before God help me. So guys, that was how my trip to Nigeria went. And we came back. Then I was coming back, you know, I have a video of her. Our flight was delayed, which affected my transfer in Istanbul. We had to stay the full day. I have a video of that on so my channel, which I will leave the link. As in the things that happened on my way back to Greece. So guys, well, I think I literally said everything. I don't know, maybe I missed some part because there was so much fun. I can't even say, oh, yeah. So that was how my trip to Nigeria, Lagos, went. It was a fun time. And I want to go back again. Nigeria, my country. With all your imperfections, Nigeria. I love being a Nigerian. I love Nigeria. We love to have fun. So, guys, that is all for this video. I do hope you enjoyed my narration, even though I skipped some parts. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Thank you. Bye.